Housing TV Africa, your first in housing development broadcasting. This is the conversation on housing development, and with me in the studio is Barrister Festus Adebayo, the Executive Director, Housing Development and Focusy Network. Good to have you in the studio, Barrister Festus. Thank you so much. All right, so. Housing has been a major challenge for many officers within the Nigerian police force. And um, the leadership of, under the leadership of Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Egbetukong, he's now trying to tackle the pressing you know, issues of accommodation facing the Nigerian police. He has initiated the first ever Nigerian police housing summit. This summit, they say, would mark a significant step towards addressing the housing needs of police personnel across the country. What do you have to say about this summit? Yes, I must say that uh, it's a very good initiative. I must commend the IGP Kayode Egbetokun and his team who came up with this idea of bringing stakeholders expert in the Nigeria housing industry together to chart a new way forward on how we can house uh, the personnel of the Nigerian police force. I must inform you that the niche to house Nigerian police officers cannot be emphasized. There's a correlation between housing and productivity. There's a correlation between housing and health. A man who slept well had the propensity to do well in the office every day. Having been able to sleep very well than the person who is sleeping under the bridges. We all know the situation of our barracks so degrading, even the position of our police uh, stations so embarrassing. So we cannot continue like this. We can't be treating these gentlemen like this. We cannot continue to be treating them like this. We must come up with a policy that we prefer a lasting solution to their housing problem. Imagine the case of somebody died in the course of his service and the wife can no more afford to pay rent. And we have many cases of them that are even removed or sent out of the barrack after a period of time that their husband have died. So I would like to use this opportunity to call on the government, federal government of Nigeria, to put the issue of housing police officers as a priority. At a particular time in the history of this country, I followed General Tunde Reis, retired, to road safety. Then to speak to the Nigeria, to speak to Nigeria, to road safety. The head of road safety then, the road marshal then, on the need for them to have a housing scheme for, for road safety officers, which later led to the construction of one housing estate in Lokogoma. And I can tell you now there are many housing estates built by uh, uh, road safety. And I can inform you now that poly, I mean, road safety now have a department that is fully responsible for the provision of housing for their staff. Nigerian police have been doing, and uh, Nigerian army have been doing very well. They even have a mortgage, uh, the mortgage bank. We all know about Kurudu, many housing estates of Nigeria army, in almost all the state capitals. So one wonder why police cannot perform like the, the area of housing their officers like Nigeria Ham. So I would like to call on the IGP in Betokum. I have observed that he has just about eight months more. With eight months, I'm not sure. Embarking on housing estates can be the solution. But I will want him to write his name down in gold 
by ensuring that before he leaves, he establish a template, a policy that will be difficult for any IGP that comes to just remove. Because what you see in the police that this one come, you talk of housing for officer, and that one come, you talk about this. So whatever the first one have done is removed. He start his own afresh. Egbetokum, IGP must see how it can establish a clear court policy. I have read about the Police Reform Act 2020 that was trying to address the welfare of the officers. But to what extent are that Police Reform Act 2022 signed by President Mohamed Buhari? To what extent has he addressed this provision of affordable housing for, for the officers? And to what extent have they started to implement it? A better we must look at some of the aberrations. So look at some of the, th the, the, the things that they see as a problem and find a solution to it. And they come up with a template that will stay behind them. That any IGP that comes, we just build on it. And that's exactly what we need now. I hear the MD of Federal Mortgage Bank commanding Nigerian police. I hear him mentioning some of the housing estates that they are already financing for the Nigerian police. So I'm very happy that they have good relationship with the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria. So I hear that report in the minister's speech, uh, Minister Architect Mohamed Dagiwa's speech at that event today. I think Nigeria police officers deserve to be housed. We must increase their productivity. We must give hope to them. We must motivate them with instrument of affordable housing. That's my position as far as this summit is concerned. I commend the organizers and I appreciate all the stakeholders who are at the event today. All the people contributed one way or the other. I want to say a very big thank you to you. This is what Housing Development Advocacy uh, Network is here to support. That is why we are here. That is why we are doing this work of commending anyone that is worth commending and also criticize anyone that we see that is not right. My name is Biola Akiola. My name is Miriam Lawa from Macrooms Nigeria Limited. Hey people, this is Tamplana Belo Oluwainka. Hello everyone, my name is Maya Kwedari. Keep watching Housing TV Africa. Keep watching Housing TV Africa. Shout out to Housing TV Africa, channel 149. Keep enjoying Housing TV Africa on channel 149, Star Times. Keep watching Housing TV if you want to know much about what is happening in the built environment, housing related, land related issues, this is the place to go. They are the best. Housing TV Africa, your first in housing development broadcasting.